question here for the minute. I've done the work at the back. We have, we have got the remainder one. It's not easy to buy three. So uh, and then we have taken 1000, 1230 P and it's divided by three. So we got uh, zero as remainder. So we can say that 1230 P is divisible by three. Let's take some other number. We have taken a number 1350. So let's divide with uh, 3. So we get here 4 3 is a 12. So 1. So when we take this 5, uh, then it cancels by 5 times. 5 is a 15. So uh, when we take this 0 here and 0, then we get a 0 here and the same. 0 we get a remainder. So uh, what we understood here is 1350 divided by 3. So what we can understand here is some of the numbers are divisible by 3 and one of the number is not divisible by 3. So what is the number is divisible by 3 is that is it and this number are 1350. So let's take this difference and observe 1350 and let's add this all the digits of a number 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 0 then we get 9 as the result and this let's see here what we get is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 so that is uh, 6 to 8 and 9 and 9 we got the result then here there is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 then here 47 72 9 and 10 we got the result of 10 so here then when we add the digits of a number, we get 9 as a result and this is divisible by 3. So the whole number is divisible by 3 and this is in this case 1233 is divisible by 3. So what we understood here, we add all the digits and we get a result of 9. This 9 is divisible by 3 so that whole number is divisible by 3. But here in this case, what we understood is here 1234 take and it's not using by 3 because 1 is remainder and we add this all the digits we are getting 10 is the result and this 10 is not using by 3 that's the reason this whole number is not using by 3 so what we understood here is uh, the number is divisible by 3 the number is divisible by 3 uh, when we add all the digits of the number and that result is divisible by 3 so the whole number is divisible by 3. So here, in this number, we added all the digits. We got 9 is a remainder, 9 is a result. And this 9 is divisible by 3. So that this whole number is divisible by 3. So this is the concept of a uh, uh, divisibility property for 3. And let's go for divisible property for 9. Use the same numbers for a uh, divisible property for 9. We are using the same numbers uh, that is 1234, 1233, 1350. Now let's go for a uh, divisible property for 9. So 9, so also 9 here. So when we divide with 9, what will happen? Let us see here. And this is 1 time 9. We get uh, 3 and 3, so we get 3 times 27 and 6, and uh, uh, here 4, 7, 9, 0, 63. So we got 1 is a remainder, not divisible. So 1234 is not divisible by 9. Let's take 9 here uh, for, for a number 1233, so it cancels by 1, so 9. So this is 3, 3. So then we get is 3, 9 is a 27, 36, 3, so 7, 9 is a 63. So we get 0 remainder. So what we understood here is this whole number 1233 is divisible by 9. We go for this property. Uh, sorry, we go for this number. So it is divisible by 1 times 9. So, 
under 4 and 45 so uh, that is 5 times 45 so we get another number 0 so we take the 0 and 0 again and same in the question we have taken so 450 minus 450 is what? so here then we have taken 0 and 0 so uh, 450 minus 450 we got 0 as a remainder then so we can observe that that is 150 then we divide a number by 9 1350 and then uh, a number is divided by 9 we got 0 as a remainder let's see let's take some other number so it's Let's divide by 9, so it's cancelled by one time, so 9, so we get here 4, 44, so this is 4, 9 is 36, then we get 8, so let's take this is 7 here, so, so 9, 9 is 81, 9, 9 is 81, so we get here 6 as a remainder, so what we understood? And this is 1347 is not divided by 9 because 6 is the remainder. So let's see what is the concept. And some of the numbers are divisible by 9, and some of the numbers is divisible by it's not divisible by 9. So uh, so let's see what is the concept behind it. So add these all the numbers of first digit. Let's take that number is 1350. So that is one plus 3 plus 5 plus 0 when we add this for the digits of a number when we add for the digits of this number 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 0 then we got the result 9 so in this case in this case here when we add all the digits of this number 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 so we get 6 plus 3 9 so the result is 9 so in this case and this here 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and then we get 47 7 to 9 and 10 10 is the result and, and last case here 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 7 so 7 plus 3 10 10 15 we get 15 here so so we got the results of after adding all the digits of a number we got 9 here and this 9 and this case 10 and other case 15 so what we understood here the sum of the digits of this number is divisible by 9 the sum of the digits of a number is 9 it's divisible by 9 that's the reason this whole number is divisible by 9 so here the sum of all the digits of a number is 9 so if this number is divisible by 9, so the whole number is divisible by 9. But here, let's see, this all the digits of sum of all the digits of this number is 10. This 10 is not divisible by 9. That's the reason this whole number is not divisible by 9. So here, 1347, uh, this is 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 7, we got 15. 15 is not divisible by 9. 15 is not divisible by 9. That's the reason this whole number 1347 is not divisible by 9. And so on, these are the even numbers we call. And odd numbers are. These are even and odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 2, and so on. These are these are odd numbers we call. So let's see here. Let's take any one of the number from this even number when we have taken a 10 from it even number let's divide by 2 so it cancels by 5 times so 5 to 0 10 we got 0 as a remainder so we have this figure the even number is divisible by 2 so now let's take some other even number it is after 10 there will be 12 so 12 and 14 16 and so on. Let's take some other number from even numbers and we take 16 and we divide it by 2. Then we get here 8 times 8 to the 16. Then we get 0 as a remainder. Let's take same 
another number for even numbers. From even numbers, we are taking we are taking the number ten. We have taken already ten. So let's take some other number uh, as twenty six. So when we divide it by two, so we'll be getting here one time two. So let's take this six three times six zero. So what we understood the numbers. Uh, which we get here is 10, 16, 26 or divisible by 2. Now, up to now we have taken all even numbers. From even numbers we have taken 10 and 16 and 26 and so on. We have taken 3 numbers from even numbers. They all are completely divisible by 2. Let's take some odd numbers. Let's take 11 divided by 2. So, this cancels by 5 times, 5 twos are 10 and 1 is the remainder. Let's take some other number, 15 divided by 2 and then it cancels by 7 times, 7 twos are 14, we get 1 is the remainder. Another number from odd numbers is 9, so 9 divided by 2, so it cancels by 4 times, 4 twos are 8, we get 1 is the remainder. So what we understood from here is, all the even numbers are divisible by 2. All the even numbers, whatever we have taken here, is that this is the even number. Even, even, and even. This all the even numbers are divisible by 2. We got the 0 as the remainder. Here, this odd number 11 and 15 and 9, this is all three are odd numbers, and odd numbers are not divisible by 2. 